Hello and welcome to Titan HQ. In this video today, I will go through Web Titan Cloud at a customer level. In this video, this will demonstrate creating a policy, adding identifiers, viewing reporting, editing block pages, and also cloud keys, also known as bypass tokens. This account is a non-AD integrated account, so this will show you the reporting aspect from a non-AD integrated aspect. This is most commonly rolled out to Wi-Fi areas, Wi-Fi in an office. Also, this can be pushed out to multiple locations if you wish to have a blanket security policy for every, everybody. To get set up, there are three steps. The first step is to add an identifier for your locations. The most commonly used identifier is the public facing IP address. You can add a singular IP, you can add multiple IPs, and you can add IPs in Cedar range. You would do this by coming set to settings, locations, click on add and enter in your IPs. We support a number of different flavors of IPs. Static IPs, which are the public facing IPs of the locations, if they never change. We also support dynamic IPs. So this is if your public IP changes, you do not have a IP supplied from the ISP that won't change. This requires a, an agent to be installed inside of the network on a device that is always on. So this will communicate out to us anytime the public IP changes. We also support dynamic DNS hostnames. So if you have a dynamic hostname from a supplier such as DynDNS or NoIP, you would add that in here and we will resolve that hostname to make sure IPs are up to date at all times. The roaming tab is specifically in regard to our OTG agent. OTG stands for on the go. This is our agent for roaming laptops and Macs. If you wish that Mac or laptop to be filtered while off the network, you would install this agent on those so it will kick in and bring the DNS traffic back to Web Titan to be filtered no matter where in the world they connect to the internet. Virtual is in regard to eDNS or DNS mask. This is if the router can ingest metadata into the DNS requests. We can identify that metadata and assign it to this policy. The identifier is important because Web Titan is not an open resolver. We will only resolved, resolve DNS requests from locations that are known to us. So once you add an IP, that states to Web Titan to accept DNS requests from this IP and associate the according policy. You can also have a differing policy per IP by editing the IP and selecting the according policy. Step two is to create your policy. On the policies tab, you will edit the default policy for your account, come to categories and block the associated categories. This account is blocking the malware, so it's a security level policy. So it's blocking anonymizer, compromise sites, criminal skills and hacking, hate speech, illegal drugs, phishing and fraud, spam, spyware, malware, and violence. You can also enable safe search from here. This enforces Google and Bing safe search. And you can have policy level whitelists and blacklists. To create a secondary policy that you may want to assign to a different IP, you would click on add and create the name for the policy and follow the same steps we just went through. As I mentioned, this is a non-AD integrated policy and account. So on the reporting and history tab, this is a live view of all traffic through your account. It'll show you the timestamp. The user will always be anonymous. 
it shows you the domain they were accessing, the category whether it was allowed or blocked, their external IP and the policy taking effect. You also give your IP's location names so it will associate the correct name with the correct IP. This is a live view of traffic through the system. Reporting and reports. This is where you can run more granular reports. So the default report here is for today. Request by category. We have a number of pre-canned reports in here that you can select. And as you can see, it defaults to the top tens. So we can see for today, the top access category was computers and technology. You can drill into these reports. So if I wanted to see what domains were actually being accessed in computers and technology, I would click on domains and this will show me the top access domains. This does default to the top tens, but you can raise that up to a thousand. If there is a report that you would like to receive at a more frequent uh, basis and not have to come to the interface, you can simply click on schedule report and fill in these details. You would enter in whom you would like it sent to, enter in the email headers, the number of records, whether it's in PDF or CSV format, and your date range. Most commonly, people will select last month and have it sent on the first of every month. Next is the block page. You can edit the block page. This is the page that is rendered when you visit a blocked site. You can edit the wording of it from directly from this tab, or you can click on advanced and you gain access to the CSS. Here you can add logos, color schemes, completely modify the block page to your liking. Next is the cloud keys. These are our bypass tokens. So if I click on add, I would give this cloud key a name. I would, the key auto generates with random numbers and letters, but you can change this to anything at all. One, two, three, four. You can say it expires after two hours, how many times it can be used, or you can stipulate date ranges for it to be active between. Click on save. Next time a user goes to a block site, if you have supplied them with this cloud key, they can enter this in and gain access to the site. If I preview this block page, this is what the default block page will look like. And as you can see here, enter your cloud key to continue. Please note that this will only appear once a cloud key is in place. If no cloud key is in place for the account, this aspect will not show in the block page. So step one was to add your identifiers. Step two was to set your policy. Step three would be to forward your DNS requests to Web Titan Cloud. Most commonly, this is done at the router level or at the domain controller level. At the moment, your domain controller may be forwarding to 8.8.8.8 um, or a, your ISP's DNS servers. What you would do in this case you would remove those DNS forwarders and add in the Web Titan Cloud IPs. Web Titan Cloud must be the only DNS forwarders in place so we can accurately block the traffic. If there is a third or a fourth DNS resolver or forwarder in place, DNS will keep trying until it gets out to what it wants to get to. So please do make sure that Web Titan Cloud are the only DNS forwarders in place for your account.